Hey comrades, I'm Amanda Salas with DragonDoor.com and we're here on location at San Jose State University for the RKC. I got power by Pavel and I'm ready to RKC you inside. RKC Welcome to the Russian Kettlebell Challenge. Enjoy the pain. Well, we have a nice, nice surge. 85 victims. We're putting hurt on them, making them better men and women. Everybody here is is very focused. The beauty of the RKC weekend is that as you divide into your teams and you work together and you and you have the feeling of training together, it it may start off at the beginning with a little bit of, you know, posing and this and that, but really quickly it, it develops a sense of camaraderie. We have people from all walks of life, from military to doctors to uh, stay-at-home moms to people that are getting back into it like me for you know injury rehab. There's a magic that happens the way Pavel and, and, our, and Dragon Doors put this whole thing together. Everybody starts off beaten up, they're really slow, and they're frustrated, they can't get it, and then there's a magic, it just clicks. <laughs> The, the skill set that we learn at these workshops, you're taught six major exercises. How are they looking so far in your opinion? They're looking good. With every uh, succeeding Russian Kettlebell Challenge that we have, um, the candidates are more and more prepared. Um, the quality of the program has gone up, and I think the students and the candidates that come through trying to certify realize that and raise their level as well. There's a lot of work and discipline this weekend, but I see a lot of smiles, so there's a lot of fun too. What kind of fun do you guys have? Well, it's, it's just incredible to be in this atmosphere where you have all these people who are excited about fitness and excited about their bodies and want to be able to help other people. The kettlebell is at least 300 years old. It's an old Russian tool. RKC is a system of kettlebell training that was born in the Russian Special Operations, where, I, where I'm from. And we introduced them to the United States several years ago. Uh, what we teach at the RKC, the best way to describe it is that we have reverse engineered the way the best, the strongest athletes move and teach it to normal people. Well, being a doctor, what is a kettlebell prescription? Well, who is it perfect for and what is it perfect for? Oh, you ever, everything from preteens all the way up to someone who's you know, 85 years old. As you see a lot of people as they get older get very sedentary in their lifestyle. And one of the biggest things that you find, the reason why people go into nursing homes, is the fact they're not able to do the normal act, daily activities. You know, picking up their groceries, picking up their grandkids. So they need someone else to help them. They go into assisted living. Doing kettlebells like this is something very perfect for them to do that keeps them out of the nursing home, allows them to continue doing the things, and gives them self-confidence to continue having a, you know, a great life. Through the kettlebells and through the workout, I was actually able to lose 100 pounds. It took me about a year to lose 100 pounds. It emphasizes what the body's naturally made to do. Too many people concentrate on what's you know in front, what they can see in the mirror, instead of the back. Pavel taught me a saying, you know, Americans are worried about the, what they can see as they're facing the mirror. Russians are worried about what they can't see when they're walking away from the mirror. And from a health standpoint, that is tremendous. You could be a marathoner and in marathon shape. You could be a cyclist in great cycle shape, competition shape, and pick up a kettlebell for the first time, and it will completely just It'll be a new level of conditioning that you've never experienced before. Use your abdominals, breathe behind the heel, squeeze your legs together, use your adductors. Keep it's the next tight. level of fitness. It's a paradigm shift. People are, are really need a maximum efficiency workout that's, uh, that doesn't hurt them, that allows them to get the most out of their training in the shortest amount of time. Um, weight loss, it gives everybody what they want. Most people come in, they want to lose weight and get toned, and they don't want to get hurt. And Kettlebell delivers that in um, the shortest amount of time possible. And it's something they can do at home. They don't have to leave the house. They can do it in their kitchen. I mean, it's really efficient. Now, in these workshops, I notice different ages, different races, different sizes. It really doesn't matter, right? No, that's the, the beauty of kettlebell training is that it, it's scalable to every age, gender, uh, condition. It's, it's amazing. Um, you know, my wife lost 125 pounds using kettlebell training.
can throw your treadmill away and your gym membership, and you can spend a small amount of money on something that's never gonna break, never gonna get old, look pretty much the same in 10 years, and get a killer workout, and there's no excuses. If you get ideas for your business, and I've had people tell me after the fact they heard one idea in here and it's doubled their income. There's no reason you can't double your income as a result of what you hear today. If your guarantee isn't so strong that you will lose money if you don't deliver your, guarantee, your promise, it is not a strong guarantee. What are some attributes that people should have when they're joining this certification program? I'd say the biggest thing is a passion to learn. Uh, somebody who just really loves the process of understanding the body and the development of proper function of the body. You must strike the balance between being tough and paying attention to details, not compromising uh, quality for quantity. I would say definitely be prepared. It's hard work. It's a lot of focus. You're going to have the opportunity to work with some amazing individuals and gain some amazing knowledge. Hey there, comrades. You are witnessing magic in the making because our very own RKC participants are teaching regular folk, a.k.a. the victims, all there is to know about kettlebell training. Check it out. You know, talk only gets you so far at the RKC. So I, Amanda, am going to put my money where my mouth is and become a fellow victim for the next 10 minutes. And all we're going to have you do is root yourself down to the ground, grab onto the bell, bring your shoulder blades together. I've been training with, uh, with kettlebells for about two and a half years, and I really just wanted to increase my overall knowledge and make sure that what I was teaching my clients and my athletes was the right thing and really just hone my skill overall. I've done personal training now for 10 years and um, I've kind of done everything there was to do and kettlebells were introduced to me about three months ago. So I kind of tried it out. It was something very challenging. I'm a very competitive person and um, so you know what? I said I wanted, to, I wanted to take a kettlebell course. The very final part of the extremely hard training that our RPC candidates have undergone is a rite of passage. It's called the graduate workout it's very intense and we invite you to watch this very intense finale that will finally determine who makes it as an rkc you are still being graded safety is paramount right hand right hand great here we go this weekend workshop in three adjectives, what would they be? Ben is good. Transformative, it's, it's maximally efficient, and it's fun. How's this weekend been for you? It's been an amazing experience, um, you know, very demanding, very comprehensive, a ton of information. Are you a little sore? I'm very yes. sore. But no pain, no gain, right? Exactly. I came in prepared, but it was, it was challenging, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I completed it successfully. Gomez! Congratulations on passing this, this test. Those of you who are going to be RKCs, congratulations on becoming RKCs! Yeah! You comrades are next.